trying to phase out of that and go into the startup. So the, I'm not trying to neglect the first company, but it's so, you know, I'm trying to spend all my time over here. So it's kind of like when I, over just in the last six months, it just really kind of surprised me of how I was kind of looking from inside the bottle because I had a couple customers contact me and they were large customers, but I'm just to the point where I don't have the bandwidth to deal with all of that. So it was kind of like, because I really want to focus on the startup. So I kind of, not that I was intentionally playing hardball, but I was like, I just focused on, this is not looking at what the competition was doing or what they were offering to them. This is, this is what it would take to make it work for us. And just kind of went from that angle, okay. And they come back and they said, well, how about if we just gave you a part? No, I need exclusive. Well, how about if we did a 12 month? No, I need a 36 month. And I just played it by, and you know, obviously telling them on why we were doing things and how we're the experts in this field. So if you want that, this is what it's going to be. And totally, you know, not even looking at what the competition would have been offering these people. And in three months, we won every, every one of those accounts where we won three big accounts where we hadn't even won you know, some of those, we, if I would have tried to do the normal selling, okay. probably wouldn't have got there or got it at a lower price. You know, there, there, there's, another, there's another chapter in the book called You Define Your Business With No. And, and they, it's around the same idea that, that you will define, you, you will figure out more about what your business is about, about what you say no to than what you say yes to. And so, I, and, and ironically, I found that every, no customer, wants to be told that you don't want to do business with them. Right. They want to do the fire. Right. And every yeah. single time that I was all revved up to go fire a customer, they, they wouldn't go. They, never, they it changed the dynamic of the relationship. And it, you know, the guy who was screaming all the time, I said, you cannot talk to our employees that way. You have to go. I love you guys. That's exactly what he said to me. I love you. What are you talking I love you guys. And he never screamed again. But it, it took, you know, I had, a, I had to say, you know what, this is a, you know, probably a $100,000 client, and I had to say, you, you cannot, you know, I had to put somebody into tears. I said, you, you cannot talk to us like that. We, we're too good for that. You know, I had, I had a, this, this, when we decided that we were a company that did service better, 